Okay, y'all. We're going to make the beef and green pepper dish. Mr. Terry loves this. Now, if I have made this before, I'm going to try to figure out whether or not I have because it's just crazy that I can't remember. And like I said in another video, if I put it out before this one, I'm going to try to figure out playlist. So at least I can put all the cooking, baking stuff in one place and then I can browse through them and see if I've done it or not. But anyway, this is really, really, really simple. My mother made this forever, as far as I know. I mean, she, she always was cooking this. Now, it's really, really simple, and you can change it up however you want. You can use more ground beef. I use a pound. I got a pound and a quarter, so Hazel would have some. Um, I use two bell peppers because Terry and I love them. I chop them pretty big um, or slice them pretty big. And I use molasses and I use soy sauce. Now, other than pepper, those are the only seasonings that I use. Now, one time, remember, I always make one mistake. I hope I'm not going to today. Um, but I grabbed the Cairo syrup, and I thought it was molasses. Well, we just had to put a little extra soy sauce, and we ate it anyway. Okay. So what I'm going to do, um, oh, and you can put an onion in here. It's really good. I just didn't think to pick one up. So uh, we're just going with the bell peppers, and I'm going to um, saute that a little bit until it starts to get a little brown, and I'm going to use coconut oil for that. I use coconut oil um, just about any, you know, any time I can. Okay. So, I'm going to put my skillet up a little bit high, and um, I'm going to dry my uh, bell peppers off just a little bit, because if not, they're going to let me have it when I stick them in the pan. These were not real big ones. Um, I didn't see really big ones in there. Um, hey, Brian. So, I don't measure the coconut oil. I'm going to use three tablespoons. Now, um, when I remove these from the um, pan, I'm going to put them in a little dish, and I am going to put, um, you know, those bowls you don't use very often. Um, I just put grease and all in there. Now, this is Crisco brand organic coconut oil. Now, when it's not hot outside, this is solid and it's white. And um, coconut oil, they say, lasts pretty much for a year. So, I don't know about that. I could probably turn my fire down a little bit. So, um... I won't edit it out, y'all, if I cut a finger off. I hope not. This little knife is pretty sharp. Jerry sharpened them for me. 
Now those other knives, those little ceramic knives I got, I was so excited about them. And they were nice and sharp, but man, they did not hold their sharpness very well at all. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Because I'm telling you, it is a master at work. Now, I want to know what happened to me when I wanted to watch cooking videos, I used to just jump over to um, Glenda's channel. Whoop! Now I'm going to have to wash my grapes. Y'all know I hate cleaning this stove. I like the grease to be hot though because it helps them to get brown easier. But anyway, I cannot believe that I'm doing this. You know, I just don't get out and take little trips like I used to. Gas is still, I think it was 3.39 yesterday. The other day, I think it was like 3.33 or something. I keep seeing out of the corner of my eye that somebody's going by. No, we don't have ghosts here, y'all. Okay, where's my spatula? So, I'm just gonna, um, see I turned my stove down too much. Just kind of brown this up a little bit. I mean, you could uh, put this in when you're cooking your hamburger meat, but I don't know. I've just always liked to do if I do onions or bell peppers or whatever I'm doing. I just always like to saute them a little bit first. And Lord knows I don't know why. Now, if I was Rachel Ray, I would probably say if you do this, y'all, it's going to bring out the flavors of your vegetables. Bull hockey. It's just something I like to do. The way I do it. Everybody has their own way. Now, y'all know that I always spend a big thing of food home with Cherry when he goes. Now, I'm not very close to my phone, so I hope y'all can hear me, but you know I have such a big mouth that um, it's usually pretty easy. Oh, look at that. I've got one down in my thing. Thank goodness my stove is clean. We won't put it in there, though. That's kind of gross. Now, if this dish was just for me, I would have put that right in the skillet. Y'all know when all those cookies fell out of that pan on top of my stove? Oh, yeah. I scraped all those cookie pieces up, put them in a little container, and I ate them. And they were good. And I did not put them on um, ice cream. There wasn't enough time. Now, y'all, Cherry had brought me over this huge box of minute rice. There's our rice right there. I made four servings. So, I'm using what um, he sent over. The only time I can really fix any real food, y'all, is when Cherry comes over. Now, I should have had this done already. It is 20 minutes to 1. He's due at 1 o'clock. And this is really one of those things that's like spaghetti. It's really good the next day. Um, so, um, there was something I was going to tell y'all, and I cannot remember. Now, I was very careful to take Miss Hazel out, and she was out for a while. 
So I'm going to put her back out in a couple of minutes because I'm not going to have her piddle when Mariah gets here. I'm going to try not to. They're getting a little bit brown. I like that. They do better if I would quit stirring them. I'm one of those people I just can't leave things alone. I'm going to show y'all what I did. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm going to ask my friend Jerry. You see the eyes on my sweet potatoes? I'm going to try and plant those. I don't know if you're going to be able to do it or not. I'm going to give it a shot, though. This is going to be a long video. I'm not going to take y'all through the whole cotton picking thing. He said, uh, Deb, well, let me put this in. I, I'm going to add my molasses. <coughs> there we go. And um, I don't measure that either. I would say that was probably, I don't know, a tablespoon and a half. So maybe three tablespoons. I don't know. You can start out with a little bit and always add to it. Same thing with this soy sauce. Is this low sodium? Nope. Traditionally brewed. Now it starts bubbling up a little bit. Now, you want this to be a little bit on the um, thin side because your rice is going to soak up your little saucy stuff right there. Woo! I love that. It's kind of like uh, caramelizing or something. Okay, this is done. So I'm going to put this. Hopefully it will all fit in this bowl. I'm not going to brag, y'all, because fixing this meal is not over with. Now, I always wipe my pan with a paper towel when I drain anything, because if you don't, it gets dried on there, and then you've really got a mess. So now I'm going to cook this hamburger. And... Usually when I cook, I keep my trash can outside. I don't mean outside, you know, outside on the ground. I mean outside of the kitchen cabinet because I'm always throwing something away. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but just, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could say recently or not, but I am just not having a good time cooking meat. I'm going to turn my little tent on low. See, I swapped a little piece of that down there on the stove. Now what that means is, I'm going to have to take these heavy grates off of here, and um, I'm going to have to clean them, and clean the top of the stove. I know one of y'all said you have one of those ceramic top stoves, and you did not like it. Let me see here. I don't, 
I try not to put anything at all heavy. Let me see if this is going to be too close for y'all. Well, I tell you, I don't know how people do this. I know how I would do it. I need a camera person. Oh, anyway, I started to tell y'all the other day, Terry told me, he said, we talked about this one other time. He said, Deb, I think it's about time for me to stop driving. I said, yeah. He goes, yeah, I'm not as relaxed. You know, it makes me a little nervous. And I said, Terry, I don't know whether this is true or not, but sometimes I think when you hear about people stepping on the gas instead of putting their foot on the brake, I, I think maybe it's because, you know what happens a lot with elderly people, elderly, I hate that word, so does Miss Carol, but it just does. And so, y'all, there is no fat in this meat. I don't remember what content I got. But anyway, um, you know where people put their foot on the wrong pedal and they just run through a building. And I said, I'm glad you told me that and I want you to be sure and let me know when you want to quit driving and whenever you want to come over here or whatever, I will drive you. So I offered to go over and pick him and Mariah up today, but he said no, he was fine. Now y'all, I think what I'm going to do, now I can't take Terry's keys away from him. You know, I'm not his family, um, but I could sure, um, I could sure have an influence on him, you know, not driving at all. Now, he said he went down the other day. He's got a really good friend over there where he lives, and um, she helps him with a lot of stuff, and they went to this um, scooter place. Uh. Okay, now I'm going to have to move y'all back. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you. Um, this is what I have to do. Because, you know, you don't want grease from your meat or whatever going down your drain. So, I put a bowl underneath my little colander here, and this really has got very, very little fat in it, which is good, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of like, I don't think I've had ground beef like this before, where it's, um, you know, where it's uh, in little strings. I hope this is beef. Let me see what it says on the package. Yep, ground beef. Oh, 93% lean and 7% fat. It was $5.49 a pound, y'all. So you see, I've got my little um, strainer in here. And so, um, I'm just going to mix that around a little bit, make sure, you know, most of it drains out. And then, I just shake it just a little bit and bring it right back to the skillet. And this is what I have in my bowl. Now, y'all, that is not grease. That's kind of um, what you would call, it's grease, but it's got a lot of uh, liquid in it. It's probably all the hormones and the, you know, 
UFO stuff that's in it. I don't know. Y'all know I don't cook healthy. I don't eat healthy. Now, I'm just kind of spreading this over the top. And I'll mix that in good. And then I'll start adding rice until it feels okay. Now, I always end up putting more um, soy sauce and molasses. Y'all, look at this meat. That is weird. Look at that. Look at those, like, strings. I, 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 look at that. Have y'all ever had that before? Not me. Not me. Okay. So, now I'm going to add some rice. Don't you love the lid to my pan? Hey, it works, okay? And again, I'm not going to measure this. I'm just putting some in here and we'll see how it goes. Oh, come on in, Terry. Huh? Oh, Mariah's already in. Hi, y'all. Terry and Mariah are already here. I told you I was behind schedule. so funny. Hazel gets right up on Mariah's rear end and Mariah's tail just beats her in the face. Okay, y'all, this is all there is to this. Um, like I said, I always make a mess so Mr. Terry can take a big container home with him. He's pretty partial to this. Do you like it, Terry? What? This what I'm cooking. I like anything. He likes anything. Did y'all hear him? That's why he's easy to cook for, y'all. Okay, that's it for this little video. And I'm going to visit with my friend. So y'all do something fun today, and I will talk to you later. Bye now.